Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome to a Gacha Life mini movie called I Stole Your Things, You Stole My Heart. This one has been made by a channel called X Gacha XX. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the original so do make sure to go over there and show some love. And guys, if you're excited for today's story, make sure to leave a like on it. And now, let's get into the Gacha. What's up? I'm Silver and I'm currently waiting for the owner of this house to leave. She usually leaves around this time for her night shift. So now, I'm just waiting. Oh, there she is. She's leaving her house. But what is Silver up to? She's acting very suspicious. I feel like she's about to commit a crime. And off she goes into the house. Where's the light switch? Aha! Found it. Oh, this place is so cute. Pretty good house. I better hurry. She'll be back soon. What the heck? <gasps> a little girl just appeared. This is a problem. Oh, sh- ah! Mommy! I've got to leave. Alarms? Poop! Did I forget to mention? I'm really clumsy. I get caught because of my clumsiness most of the times. Example A. Oh my gosh, she just fell over a football and hurt her eye. Like, seriously hurt her eye. Ow! 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 She just keeps falling over. A dog? Oh no, run girl! And example B. An old woman sleeping and she's just barged in. Oh poop! She's here. Oh, she's sleeping. I've just got to be quiet. She's going through the drawers and stuff right in front of her. There's nothing here. Her necklace and bracelet look expensive. Don't tell me she's about to remove the necklace and bracelet right off of this old woman's body as she's sleeping. This is a terrible idea, but she's gonna do it anyway. Oh no, what are you doing, girl? She woke up. Hey, honey, how was work? And she just went back to sleep. Silly old woman. Let's just take the bracelet. But at least that time, I got away with it. Dang, the sun is already rising. Better get back home, I guess. Glad to see you back, Miss Silver. Your clothes are ready in the closet. Thank you, Lynn. I'll start making breakfast while you go change. I need a shower. I feel so much better now. I need a haircut. Miss Silver, your food is ready. I'll be right there. You made my favorite. Do you have any plans today, Silver? Oh yeah. I'm going out with Jasmine today. Okay, so cancel your lunch? Yes, please. Oh my my goodness, just imagine having a personal chef who makes all of your food. That is life goals. I'll get that for you. Who the heck is ringing it? What do you- What the heck are you doing? What do you mean? I'm ready for our date. Are you drunk? Why the heck would you drink this early of a day? And why are you dressed up? What? You're like a fashion nova now? You stupid girl. How could you forget? This day is more important than your life. What are you talking about? We were supposed to hang out today. Miss Silver, I forgot to remind you that today is your best friend friend's anniversary. Oh, I'm so sorry I called you drunk. How could she forget her best friend's anniversary? Then again, I don't actually remember when I became friends with any of the people I speak to. Is that something I should keep track of? Now I'm panicking. Well, they've gone out to celebrate anyway. Why do you always make me feel like I've overdressed? Because you did. Where should we go first? I was thinking the salon. I want to get my hair done again. What crazy color are you going to dye it now? I was going to change it into my natural hair. Yes! I loved your hair natural. It was so pretty. Then, let's go. You look like a completely different person. I know, right? They did an amazing job too. My hair feels so soft. You know what we should do? What? Buy new clothes. Let's go. So, when are we moving again? I was thinking in a couple of days. Did you get caught? This little girl saw me. Did you fall? Yes, Miss Obvious. You're gonna screw us one day. Duh. That's why we move. Let's go to California. Why? I wanna go there for college. You want to go to school? Willingly. Yes. I want to be a pediatrician. A doctor for kids. Yes. They're so cute. Fine. We'll go to California. Now go home and pack. Days later. And they're on their way to California. We got everything right? Yes, ma'am. Well, we have to go now. I'm gonna miss you, Miss Lynn. I'll miss you too, girls. Bye, Lynn. And they made it to California. So it looks like this girl is a criminal and she goes around stealing for money. And then once they get caught or they get close to getting caught, they move location so that they're always staying safe. But still, this is wrong and you shouldn't steal. My back hurts. No, duh. We need a cab. Oh, taxi. Let's go. This place is pretty nice. We need to pick a house though. We need to make more money. Hmm, you're right. Do you want to go do it tonight? Sorry, I can't. I need to register for the college. Fine, I guess I'll do it. 
Just make sure not to get caught on our very first day here. I won't. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey, hmm? Don't you think it's dark enough for you to go? Yeah, I guess so. I'll go get changed. How's this? Perfect. Great. I'll be back later. Be safe. I know, I know. Maybe I shouldn't have just picked a random house. This is gonna end terribly, I know it. She's gone into this without thinking. She hasn't even scouted out a house. She's broken into the first one she came across. And she's looking through all the cupboards. Oh no, I think the homeowner's back. He's gonna catch her. What the heck are you doing in my house? Hey, where did you go, you brat? Gotcha. Oh my gosh, girl, you've gotta get out of here. You stupid girl. You're going to die. Game on, little girl. Oh my goodness, they're just having a full-on fist fight in the kitchen. If I saw a robber in my house, I would run away and cry. Oh my gosh, I think I killed him. Okay, it's fine. I've got this. Yeah, I'm not touching him. She's just gonna eat a pie instead. I'm stress eating. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go to jail. I can't handle the big house. Ah! Uh, maybe going to jail won't be that bad. I mean, I could get free meals and a free bed. I just killed a man. Uh, oh, he's breathing. Thank you, Lord. What do I do now? So, I knocked him out. Do I just leave him here? He did try to kill me. But then again, I did break into his house. I guess I'm dragging him. But where is she gonna drag him to? Oh, she's back home now and she's gone to bed. Jasmine started going to college. So now I have to go out at night by myself. Things are going fine. That guy is always on my mind. How's the job going? Fine, I guess. Just kind of boring. That's weird. What's weird? You love our job. You always thought it was so fun. It's just weird of you to say it was boring. How's school going? Going, by the way. It's so much fun. It isn't as exhausting as you say it is. I just had a genius idea. What is it? Come to school with me. What? You've always wanted to start your own company, right? Well, I mean, yeah. Great, I'll sign you up right now. Hey, I didn't say yes. I can't believe you're making me go to your dumb college. I promise you'll like it. Please, for me. Gosh, fine. Yay, let's go. Okay, looks like we're at school now. Why are they all staring at you? Me? That's staring at you. Why? You literally look like a model. Of course they're gonna stare. Let's go. They're being pretty creepy. Oh no, she crashed into the boy. Watch where you're going, idiot. What do you want, darling? Oh, she wants to fight you. Stay away from her. Let's go, Jasmine. Oi, back up. What is going on? Why are they just randomly kissing? I have no words. Bye now. Let's go. She seems oddly familiar. Late on your first day. That's a detention. Nice of you to finally join us. Both of you are at the after school detention. Now please take your seats. So boring. What you looking at, pretty boy? Oh, nothing. Just a monkey in its natural habitat. Damn, feisty. After class. She's going up to the rooftop. Where is this girl? I found you. How dare you not hug me back? You maniac. What was that for? You, you beat up and kiss the worst kids in school. What do you mean the worst kids? Cause that dude definitely ain't bad at kissing. Oh, he heard that. Go to church. Look. Just stay away from them, please. I don't want them to hurt you. Sorry, but I can't do that. Jeez, the I don't want to see you hurt thing didn't work. I'm gonna go see him in detention today. Ew, no, stop that. Stop what? I don't know you. After school. Miss Silver, you need to go to detention. Bye bye now. I hate you. I love you too. Now this is going to be mega awkward. At least he's asleep. Who said I was asleep? May I know why you're lying on the ground? You know what? I don't even care anymore. They've both gone to detention just to go to sleep. Where are the teachers? I thought teachers were meant to oversee you. Oi, wake up. I'm bored. Let's leave. What do you want? Let's leave. How? Let's jump out the window, duh. Yeah, no. Jumping out the window? Wouldn't that cause serious injuries? Wouldn't it be better to just actually leave the room rather than jumping out the window? Not like there's a teacher here anyway. What? Can we please leave through the window? Oh my gosh, I hate you so much. Fine. Great. Now, let's go, stranger. Jeez, you're pretty tall. Um, what are you doing? You said you wanted to go through the window, right? Right. Well, I'm gonna throw you outside. Wait, no! He really did just throw her as well. If I'm going down, you're going down with me. Who broke this window? Run. Run. I just realized you never told me your name. I'm Lucas. Okay, Lucas. Can I ask you another question? Sure. How did you get that scar on your face? Lucas! I missed you! 
I miss you too, I guess. So, Heather, when did you come back? I came back a few days ago. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Heather, Lucas's childhood best friend. I'm Silver. So, how do you two know each other? We don't. He literally called me a monkey. Oh my gosh, he's dating someone and I kissed him. So, are you guys dating? Well, I mean- You, no. That's disgusting. At least I'm not a home wrecker. So, should we go to your place, Lucas? We can't. Why? Some piece of poop robbed my house. Are you okay? They didn't hurt you, did they? She gave me a small concussion when she knocked me out. That was me. That was all me. You think that's funny, monkey? You got beat up by a girl. Hey, she was fast. And you're meant to be the bad boy. I'm gonna kill you. Oh my goodness, I think they're gonna end up together. And the best friend isn't gonna be too happy about that. He hasn't done that with me since we were kids. How did she make him smile like that? That hurt. Later that day. Why does Silver seem so familiar? Her fighting. Oh, we got a flashback to the fight. I mean, she could totally get away with it. But would she actually even do that? I mean, I'm not one to talk. With what I do, she's a saint compared to me. And I'm talking to myself. The next day. Ooh, I wonder what he gets up to then. He says it's much worse than what she does and she's a criminal. Finally, I got away from those crazy girls. I need directions. Poop. More girls. Whatever. Excuse me, ladies. Can we help you? Huh? That's weird. She doesn't seem interested in me. Hello? Oh, sorry. But do you guys know who Lucas is? You mean Mr. Bad Boy? I guess so. I haven't seen him since yesterday. He hangs around the rooftop. Maybe he's there. Can one of you guys show me? I'm new around here. I'll show you. Oh look, it's Heather. She's just walked in. And she's being pushed. Heather, meet my bestie Jasmine. Jasmine, meet my friend Heather. You two talk. And I'll show this guy to the rooftop. I guess he's not here. It's fine. Thanks for the help anyway. What's your name? Oh, I'm Silver. I'm Connor. So, how do you know Lucas? I don't really. Did this person have brown hair? Yeah. How did you know? Did he hurt you? No. If anything, he probably had to go to the hospital because of me. How did she hurt him? Hey, would you like to hang out with me? You can bring your other friends if you want. Oh yes, and we can all go to the beach. Sounds good. You were looking for me? What are you doing here, Connor? What? You're not happy to see your older brother? Brother? You didn't tell me you guys were related. What? You couldn't tell? Which one do you think is the better looking brother? Better looking? Lucas is better looking. How? I like the scar on his face. Little brother has a crush. Let's test him. Hey, Lucas, do you want to go to the beach? Nah. So then, just us? Never mind. I guess I'll go. I knew it. How do I get these two closer? Great. Tomorrow's the weekend. We should go tomorrow. Make sure to bring your other friends. Got it. Hey, guys. Did you guys find Lucas? Yeah, we did. And me, Connor, and Lucas are gonna go to the beach tomorrow. Do you wanna come? Heck yeah. I'm gonna throw you into the water. Not if I do it first. You guys are gonna end up drowning each other. That's not a bad idea. Who was that guy? What guy? With the red hair. Oh, Connor. He's Lucas's older brother. He's kinda hot. Don't even think about it. Hey, at least I didn't go and kiss a stranger. Hope when you break into a house that you break your leg. Yeah, but who's gonna gonna be the one taking care of me if that happens. <sighs> Not me. Maybe your boyfriend, Connor. Yeah, like you're the one to talk. You over here falling in love with Lucas. Says who? Literally everyone can tell. Heck, maybe even Connor noticed. Let's go to bed already. We have to get ready for the beach tomorrow. Fine, but we're not done talking about this. Yeah, yeah. Can I borrow a swimsuit? Yeah, sure. Is this good? Yeah, it's perfect. Now, let's go. Oh, we're gonna be late. Are you not gonna change? Mine's already in the car. I'm gonna get changed when we get there. Okay then, let's go. What's up? Hey Connor, where's Silver? She's changing. She'll be here any minute. And at this point in the story, I've realized that she's actually called Sliver and not Silver, but I'm gonna keep calling her Silver anyway because Sliver? Is that even a name? I don't know. It sounds strange. Just like that time. Ah, no, I need to stop it. He doesn't even know it was you. Why does it feel like I've done this before? Okay, lovebirds. Now, come over here. Shut up, Connor. I'm gonna go and get ice cream. I'll go with you. No. Why? Uh, I. Because you just got here. Yeah, yeah. You sit and enjoy the view while we go. But Bye. Oh, they want them to have alone time. So they've all gone and got ice cream and left them too. 
alone on the beach. 20 minutes later. They're taking forever. I know. Get up. Your hair is really soft. Oh, she just did his hair for him. I was wondering why she was randomly just touching his hair. That's a very strange thing to do to someone. Now all you need is makeup and a dress. If you do that, then I get to dress you as a boy. That's an amazing idea. Wait, I didn't mean it. Well, too bad. Let's go to the mall. I don't have a shirt. So? I don't have pants. Let's go. Fine. Come on. Give me a piggyback ride. No way. And he did in the end. He gave in. I thought you said you weren't gonna give me a piggyback ride. Shut up. And we're here, so get off. Oh man. Oh, they're very close again. Let's go now, shall we? Yep, yep. Great idea. Oh, and they're being followed. They're so cute. I know. What is it? Everyone's staring at you. It's kind of annoying. Are you jealous? Yeah, right. That's the star, right? Yeah, it is. Then let's go. How can I help the two of you today? We're looking for clothing. All right. Well, these are our newest pieces. They all just came in this morning. May we try on all four of these? Of course. I'll open a fit room for the two of you. You're gonna try on this one first. Gosh, why did I agree to this? Okay, let's both come out at the count of three. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. I love it. He looks great. I love this so much. I'm gonna cry. She's having the best time. It's not that funny. Yes, it is. He looks great. I'm gonna pee myself. You look so stupid. Okay, okay. We have to take a picture. Aw, they look kind of cute though. Let's go and swap clothes. You put this one on and I'll put that other one on. Aren't these outfits a bit extra? You always dress extra anyway. Whatever. I'm just gonna go pay. Yeah, no you're not. Why? Because I'm a gentleman and I have to pay. I don't see a gentleman. I'm paying. Over my dead body. Oh my gosh, they're fighting over who's gonna pay. Okay, fine, you can pay. I knew I'd win. She's totally gonna hit me for this. They're kissing again. Oh my gosh. Two can play at that game. Meet you out there. Oh, he is flustered. He's gone all red. You're so stupid, Silver. Why would you do that? And now I look like a weirdo talking to myself. Um, ma'am, you saw the whole thing, didn't you? Uh, no. Okay, let's go and pay now. Where's Silver? How much do I owe you for the clothes? Your girlfriend already paid for them. Girlfriend? I don't have a girl. Silver! Never mind, ma'am. What a strange couple. Three two, one. You sneaky rats. I'm dead. I was just trying to be generous. You don't need to get so pressed. Don't be a butt. You tricked me. So you harassed me. Don't start screaming lies in the mall. You maniac. Get away from me. Is that Silver? I think so. But who's that guy? Silver, I swear I'm gonna kill you. Try me. Put me down right now, Lucas. What if I don't want to? Hey, can I help you? Put Silver down right now. Oh, he just threw her on the floor. Are you good, monkey? I'm fine, you butt. Wait, Michael? Yep. Ray? Yes, ma'am. And Anthony? Duh. You know these idiots? Don't touch her. Oh, he's just gonna kiss her in front of them all. She's mine. That was so awkward. Why would you do that in front of a big group of people? Oh, gotcha. Ray, Michael, and Anthony are back? Yes. And they saw Lucas kiss you? Yes. You are so dead. What am I supposed to do? I'm so dead. Well, you didn't tell them where you live, right? They can't kill you if they don't know where you are. But guess what? They're coming to our school. No, no, no. That can't happen. What are you hiding? What? What don't you want them to find out? Me and Connor are talking. Did he confess? He wants to date, but... You guys just met. He wants to date so girls will leave him alone. So, he doesn't know. No, he doesn't know. I like him, but he doesn't even like me. You better hope that they don't kill Lucas though. I know. How about I go tonight? You go to sleep and I'll get the money. Okay, now go. Do you see them? No, I doubt we're gonna see them. Yeah, you're right. And besides, we're late. We're not gonna see them because they'll already be in class. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why we're freaking out. Let's just 
just go. Hmm, I don't have a good feeling about this hallway. Let's just stay in the bathroom until class is over. I thought we'd never make it to the bathroom. Okay, we just have to stay here for the rest of our lives. Our code name is Apple if we see them. Wow, they're really just chilling in the bathroom all day. And Heather's just walked in. Hi, what are you guys doing? Hiding? From who? Oh, she's pushed them out. You idiot, Heather. Let us back in there. Not until you tell me who you're hiding from. That was the bell. Yeah, it was. Oh no, people are filling up the hallway. And the boys are here. Apple, 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 run. Jasmine, get back here. I'll get you guys later. That was Jasmine, right? Yep. Do you think they saw us? No, there's no way. They would be here right now if they did. We'll just stay away from them. But I've missed them so much. If you go to them, you'll never be with Connor. Remember the last boy that you liked? They almost killed him. Someone's coming. Hey, Lucas, I found them. They're gonna get us caught. Why are you guys on the ground? We're eating. Why do you guys seem nervous? What are you talking about? We're fine. Oh, so... Will you be my girlfriend? I love how he's just asked that question in front of other people. That's definitely something that you should keep private. But no, embarrass the girl and ask in the hallway. Uh, I mean, sure. No, she won't. Oh my gosh, this is why you shouldn't have said that in the hallway. Because now the boys know. Care to explain, Silver? You want to explain, Jasmine? I'm good. Anthony asked you. I'm waiting. Jasmine has a crush. You have a what? What? Where is he? I'm gonna kill him. If you don't put it away right now, I swear to gosh, you're dead. You're so scary. Say it's the one who was ready to kill somebody. It was for a good cause. You sad and lonely boy. Silver, who are these guys? They're my cousins. So you just make out with your cousins now. I didn't know that we were related. Well, we are. Excuse me, Missy. What do you guys think you're wearing? Gosh, why? Now they've had to cover up. Who are these guys and why are they controlling them so much? I'm so confused. I hate you guys. By the way, why did you guys leave without us? We were doing our job and we brought- Oh, he's being pushed out of the room. Why did you do that? Don't start talking about our job at school. But no one was even around. This stupid idiot. They don't know about our job and we can't tell them. Why? Because I robbed them. Why do you care? You're stronger than them anyway. Don't forget, I'm your boss. So keep your mouth shut. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Jasmine. Let's go, you two. Stay away from them. They don't need you. You'll only be a bother. Since Ray, Michael, and Anthony came, it's been weeks since me and Lucas have talked. Me and Jasmine have been hanging out with them a lot, like we used to before we left. I've also noticed that Lucas was acting the same way he did before I came here. Not that I cared. Oh, it seems like he's moved on with another girl. Now, that kind of hurt. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I wish we had classes together. Well, I mean, if you were smarter, maybe you would. What kind of psycho actually understands algebra? Hey, Silver, you know how I say I'm always the best friend that you've ever had? Did you break my things or something? No. I ruined your favorite shoes. What I was going to say is, would you go to the dance with me? If you're not her date, then she's not going. So, you're my dad now. Please go to the dance with me. Fine, but you owe me. We're gonna have so much fun. The boys have been in the bathroom forever. I know. I wonder what's taking them so long. It doesn't look like they're in the bathroom to me. They're just chilling in the hallway. They said they're at the roof. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Hey, it's okay. Hey, don't you know Jasmine? Yeah, are you one of her boyfriends? I'd rather like the floor. Cute. Are you going to the dance alone? Well, I guess I am now. Great, you can go with these two idiots. No, no, no. That's okay. I'm sure you guys all have your own dates. Nope. Meet Jasmine at the front of the school. But see you at the dance. Okay then. I have a date to the dance. So do I. How did both of you find a date in 30 minutes? That's the sad part. We have the same date. Yeah, because of me. She could have said no. You didn't give her a chance to. Uh, well, too late. So, who's the lucky girl? She's, um, did you guys get her name? So, you made her their date and you didn't even get her name? Yes, ma'am. And she's gonna to meet you in front of the school tomorrow night. All right, I guess we'll meet this mystery girl tomorrow. Meanwhile, 
It's their new friend. She also happens to have a crush on her childhood best friend, Lucas. Lucas's favorite book. And she would do anything to make Lucas love her back. Hey, Silver. Hey, Silver. Hey, is there something you need? Actually, I was coming to ask if you had plans for the dance. We haven't talked in a while, so this is kind of awkward. So? Well, I mean, I guess I don't really. Great. That means you can go with Lucas. And why would I do that? Well, I mean, you like him, right? He's a player. I don't like him. But you guys kissed, didn't you? It was just a kiss. I've kissed other guys. So what? It doesn't mean anything. It's not like we're in love. I'll never like a guy like Lucas. Stay out of my business, Connor. I don't care if Jasmine has some dumb crush on you. Don't bring up stupid stuff like that again, unless you want to get hurt. This is your fault for falling for a stupid girl. The only girl I like hates me. Like I care now. You stupid idiot. Crying over some stupid player. Not like he even cared about me. I'm just another toy that he likes to play with until he gets bored. So why am I so annoyed? Why would you fall for a guy like him? He's too dangerous, even for you. I'm not going to that stupid dance. Jasmine can go with Heather. The night of the dance. What do you mean you're not going? I mean, I'm not going. Silver? What? So, you're just gonna ditch me like that? Heather's going, right? Just hang out with her. That's not the point, Silver. Then what is the point? Please, tell me. The point is, you promised me. You, you lied to me. We were excited for the dance. Then all of a sudden, you've changed your mind. Feel free to come if you want, but I'm sad that you lied to me and you won't tell me why. We were supposed to wear our dresses together. This is our first dance since middle school. I just thought that you'd want to spend it together. I'll see you after the dance, I guess. Now we made Jasmine sad. Hey, Heather. Your outfit is so gorgeous. So is yours. Where's Silver? She's gonna be a little late. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Some guys wanted me to be their date. So you have a date? More like two dates. Huh? That's weird. My friends also have to share a date tonight. Guess I won't be the only one then. Let's go inside. This is so cool. I know. Do you see your dates anywhere? No, not yet. Do you see your friends? Nope. Who cares? Let's just dance until they come. Aw, oh, they're having so much fun. They don't need their dates. And they don't need Silver either. But what is Silver up to? Should I go? I don't want to disappoint Jasmine. I'll just avoid Connor and Lucas. Me and Jasmine will have fun tonight. Oh, so she's changed her mind and she does want to go to the dance. Wow, she looks so good in her outfit. Oh, some Polaroids. First date with Monkey, not a date. She's so sad about Lucas though. He's just a stupid boy. We'll get over it soon. Your dates are my friends? These are your friends? Yes, yeah, stupid. You just went against the girl code. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Yes. Wow, look at her. She's so pretty. Is she a model? What's going on? It's the one and only Silver. Sorry I'm late. Why is everyone so much prettier than me? You look amazing, Heather. So, her name's Heather. Wait a second. You broke girl code? I didn't know. I'm sorry. Hey, guys. Could you leave me and Jasmine for a bit? Sure. Oh, yeah, they need to have a word. You know about the little awkward incident before the dance. Jazz, I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have broken my promise. I got upset and I wasn't thinking straight. I'm really, really sorry. I thought you weren't gonna come. You're still the big baby I knew from middle school. And who would have thought Heather would have two dates? I know, but Ray likes her. But Michael likes Heather too. Love, Love triangle. triangle. Let's go dance. Of course. Wait a second, I see a boy in the background. She's not thinking. Why are you going outside? It's really dark outside. It's not safe for her to go alone. And besides, I just think she's getting some fresh air. This is an incredibly sketchy street. I don't know what's going on. Where is this idiot going? We made a deal, Lucas. Give back what belongs to me. For the last time, someone stole it. Now I don't like liars. Now, give it back or face the consequences. Now Jin doesn't like to play. She shows no mercy to those who lie. All I have to do is say the word 
and then boom. But I'm in a good mood today, so hand it over and we'll be on our way. Someone broke into my house. They knocked me out and they stole everything valuable. Oh girl, this is all your fault. You broke into his house and stole his stuff. But what is it that they want? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Shush, we need to call the cops. Like right now. Silver, what's going on? Jasmine, please just call the police. Okay, okay. Oh no, what was that? Silver, Jazz, be quiet. Connor? Guys, you need to leave now. Oh no, this is bad. How sweet. Stand down, Gia. Walk to them. What are you doing here? The one with the dark hair is so cute. You touch her and you're a dead man. Ooh, but you're more fun. You seem angry, Lucas. Did what I said upset you? I'll give you a deal. Give me the girls and you and your brother won't die. No way. Boom. Oh my gosh, what happened? Jasmine! Silver! Gia, go take care of the police. This is gonna be fun. How's your girlfriend doing? Don't wanna talk? Don't get too sad. You'll both join them soon. Why did you do that? They did nothing. Well, I didn't really do anything. It was Gia who did it. I'll do the same to you right in front of your wife. My darling wife Gia would kill you before you get the chance. Boom. Wait a second, what is going on? I think they've been rescued. Hey Silver, wake up. Connor, we need to take them to the hospital quick. I found them. The girls are injured. All right, so it looks like we're at the hospital now. What the heck did you do? What's your problem? You're my problem. I told you to stay away. And now Jasmine and Silver are hurt. And it's your fault. Anthony, that's enough. It's their faults. Sir, you need to leave if you continue to yell. We're doing surgery on your friends. We can't have distractions happening. Let me see them. You need to leave, sir. You can't go in during the surgery. Don't make me bust down that door. Leave now, sir. Yeah, you got told. You need to leave. Oh my gosh, this nurse. She knows karate. I'm afraid I'm going to have to escort you out. Yes, queen. Show him who's boss. We love a strong, independent woman. Good luck with her. You need to start explaining. You let that happen to them? Michael's gonna kill you. Who? The guy with the gray hair. Silver and him were really close. Like brother and sister. He cared about Silver and Jasmine. He's the reason why they all met. How did you guys meet anyway? They both went to an all boys school and everybody wanted to date them. They rejected them all though. They both dropped out though and they got jobs. Jobs? Silver never told me she had a job. Oh, somebody else is here. Heather, what are you doing here? For Silver and Jasmine, duh. What happened? Some things are not very good happened, okay? Some very bad things. We have good news and bad news. The good news is, the surgeries went great. And your friend Jasmine, she only had one wound to her back. But she'll be fine. Oh my goodness, thank gosh for that. Jasmine will stay here for a little over three weeks to recover, just to make sure nothing happens. You said there were bad news. What about our friend Silver? Wait. There's some paper, what does it say? Your friend Silver. She had three wounds. Unfortunately, she had an injury to her organs and it caused internal bleeding. We were able to stop the bleeding, but her injuries are life-threatening. Is she gonna be okay? There's a high chance that she won't be. We had to put her in a temporary coma. Her body needs to rest. I'll let you know when we have some more information on their injuries. Oh, that is not good news. This is my fault. It's not your fault. It's so sad how all of the friends were left in the hallway crying. Please don't die on me. Please don't die, mommy. Oh, I think the nurse feels bad for him because she's been through that pain before, so she understands. I hope Anthony's okay. He hasn't said a word to me since this happened. I'm sure he'll get back to his senses soon. Hello? Come in. Oh, it looks like this is the doctor. My name is Miss Nora, and I'll be Miss Jasmine and Silver's nurse. Oh, okay, she's not a doctor, she's a nurse, but I was kind of close. Not being rude, but you seem really young to be a nurse. I'm 19 and I graduated early. Wow, you're three years younger than us. So, 
How's Jasmine doing? She healed rather fast, and her body is recovering very quickly. She may be able to leave a week early if she continues to heal this quick. She should wake up any minute, but she's most likely gonna want to see Miss Silver when she wakes up. But I think she shouldn't see her until she's recovered more. Why can't she see her? It would most likely cause her a lot of stress, which could cause her to collapse. So she should wait more until she's healed. I have to go check on Miss Silver now. I'll be back when she wakes up. Okay, well, it's looking like she's doing really good, but Silver, not so much. You look so pale. Please get better soon. I know we haven't been friends for a long time, but I miss you. We all miss you. And so days turned into weeks. Jasmine's been awake and has been wanting to see Silver. Let me see Silver, please. Miss Jasmine, I'll allow you to see her if you calm down. Please let me see Silver. Follow me, Miss Jasmine. Oh my gosh, I wonder how she's gonna react. Her friend is still not doing so well. She's in a coma. Why is she so pale? Why isn't she waking up? She's in a coma. Oh feel so bad for them. Can you leave me and Silver alone, Michael? Sure. How is Jasmine handling it? She's trying to stay strong like Silver always told her. I bet that she's crying in there right now. Yep, she definitely is crying. Hey, Silver. It's me, Jasmine. I've been getting better and I hope you will too soon. You're a fighter, so please keep fighting for me. I love you. She's so sweet. She's with her best friend, and she's trying to heal her with words. Days later. Nora? Yes? How's Jasmine doing? She's been refusing to leave Miss Silver's side. If she continues to do this, she won't get better. She's not going back to her room or listening to me. I already tried talking to her. I guess I can try to talk to her. I don't think she'll listen to me though. Maybe Heather can do something because she is refusing to leave Silver's side. Jasmine, you need to go back to your room. I'm not leaving Silver. I know if I leave that something's gonna happen. You've got to be kidding me. Jasmine, we all care about you. You're not gonna get better by doing this. I know I haven't seen you guys for a long time, but you really helped me get out of my comfort zone. I was scared coming back to California. But then I met Silver and she introduced me to you. I know Silver wants you to get better. If you want her to get better, you have to get better first. You can visit her every day. If anything happens, me and the boys will tell you. I promise. Days later and Jasmine's recovered and she has been released from the hospital. You seem rather excited, Heather. How can I not be? Jasmine's finally getting discharged. Here she is. She looks so much better. I'm so glad that you're finally recovered. Hey, Heather. I'm gonna go see Silver. Not so fast, Missy. You need to go home and shower and change out of these hospital clothes. Sure. I mean, what could go wrong in 40 minutes? Let's go. We'll see you guys in a bit. I think with a shower, a change of clothes, and maybe a nice meal, she'll feel even better than she did before. Okay, so they're on their way back. Connor? Oh, hey. Why haven't you visited Silver or Jasmine? I feel like it was all my fault. So I felt so guilty showing up. I sent you guys flowers. And I'm glad that you're better, Jasmine. What's with the bag? It's why I'm here. Lucas refused to go home. He hasn't changed since the night that it happened. He said he wanted to make sure that she was okay. Then how come he won't even come into her room? Your friend Anthony won't let him. He said it was all of his fault and so he didn't deserve to see her. I brought him clothes from his house so at least he can change. I knew that he was just being weird sitting in front of her door. I guess he really cares a lot about Silver. I'll try talk to Anthony. There's no way you can get him to change his mind. I know he's just overprotective, so just leave it as it is. I guess me and Jasmine better get going. Come on, Jasmine. I know that you like Lucas since we were kids. Please don't try to get in between Silver and Lucas. Oh, that was awkward. What the heck? He really didn't need to say that, but he did. Sorry, Heather. So good to be home. Let's go to Silver's room to get her clothes. Follow me. Wait here while I get her clothes. Is that a note or something? Gosh, I gotta know what that is. Forgive me for looking through someone else's things. Oh girl, you shouldn't do that. Oh my gosh, she's so bad. What does it say though? I'm curious. Does that make me as bad as she is? First date? Oh no, I'm guessing it was something she didn't wanna see. From that reaction, she's taking it terribly. I'm almost done, Heather. Oh dear, Heather is not happy. 
happy. She's run away. Just breathe. I guess that's what you get for sneaking through someone else's things. It's okay. It's just a photo. 20 minutes later. I thought you left me. Sorry, I came out to get some fresh air. And then I completely forgot. Lucas, what do you want? I brought you a change of clothes. I'll just leave them there then. Lucas, just go home. I'm not leaving. Go home and stop bothering me. Lucas, you haven't seen her once. She'll be okay. So please go home and take care of yourself. I'm not leaving till she's better, Connor. Well, at least go change. Fine. So, the jerk finally left, huh? I didn't leave. Meanwhile, we're Silver. Oh, we're inside of Silver's coma dream. Where am I? Why does my stomach hurt so bad? She can sense her injuries from inside of her coma. That's crazy. So, am I dead? Who is that? Uh, hi. Darling. You shouldn't be here. Why are you not fighting? Fighting for what? Your life. Do you wish to die? No, but you are fading. You will die soon. Who are you? Do you not remember? You saw me as a child and I played with you when you were alone. I guided you to Jasmine as well. You needed her and she needed you. I guess you could say, I'm your guardian angel, but I don't believe in those things. Oh my goodness, she really is a guardian angel. She's got the wings, she's got the halo and everything. It doesn't matter if you do or don't believe. Silver, you are dying. Oh no, why did her wings turn black? Silver, if you die, I will be gone forever. You need to wake up before you die. I don't know how. Give Lucas a chance when you get back. Oh my gosh, is she gonna wake up? Wake up! Patient 45, room 138! Please don't die on me! Oh my gosh, they're working on her right now. We need more people now! How silver? Not too good. You guys told us that she was getting better. They also said her injuries were life-threatening. We told you that she was a high risk. Is she gonna die? She's not stable. We've done all that we could, but now it's up to her. It seemed like she was going to wake up, but when she opened her eyes, she went into shock, which worsened her condition. I don't know if she can hear you, but try talking to her. She could die. It's up to her if she decides to fight for her life. There's nothing more that we can do for her at this point. How are we supposed to tell Jasmine her best friend could die any minute? She's like a sister to us. What are we gonna do if she dies? I can't lose her, Ray. Maggie, you can go. I'll stay and monitor her condition. Jeez, you better wake up, girl. Everyone's worried about you. She's going to die, isn't she? It depends on her. She does have a chance to survive. Explaining. What are we gonna do if she doesn't make it? I'm sure she will. She's awake, but there's a problem. I guess I'll show you guys. Come in, Silver. Oh, hey guys. I don't get it. There's nothing wrong with her. She looks okay to me. I missed you so much. Do I know you? Oh dear. I think she's lost her memory, guys. This is not good. Our tests have shown that she has memory loss, but only of this past year. I think we should have a talk. I kind of feel bad for that Lucas guy. Why? He deserves it. Will she get her memory back? I'm sure she'll be able to, but for now she needs to rest. She's still at high risk. I'll give you more information about her condition soon. You've seen Silver. Now leave. Fine. Oh, wow. Things are quite awkward at the minute. Silver has memory loss and the boys are not happy with each other. Where are you leaving to, Anthony? None of your business. Well, I don't think it's fair that you make Lucas leave if you're gonna leave too. It was pretty messed up how you just kicked him out. You know he likes her and this isn't his fault. We can't control the girl's actions. Whatever. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What happened, Jasmine? Where are we? Okay, this might come as a shock. What? What are we doing in California? On you, Jasmine. We moved. How long have we been here? Three months. And I can't remember anything? So who was that guy that hooked me? Do I know him? You liked him. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a lie. Silver, I'm not lying. Yeah, well, either way, I don't believe you. By the way, did we move here because of our job? Well, kinda, I guess. But you agreed to come here so that I could go to college. Why did you wanna go to college? Well, I mean, you don't really expect us to steal for the rest of our lives. I'm doing classes to be a doctor. 
and you're doing classes to be a businesswoman. I'm failing all of my classes, aren't I? Well, at least that you know. Oh no, what is happening to her? Her mouth does not look healthy. Silver's spitting blood. Silver. That went downhill real quick. I was not expecting that. She's gonna be fine. She had another seizure. I guess her body wasn't ready to be moving around so much. She'll be able to get her memories back, right? I'm not sure, actually. She might, but there's a chance that she won't. Thank you, Nora. That would actually be terrible if she couldn't remember anything. One week later. Wait, so I introduced you two? Yup. Jasmine, isn't it sad that you had no friends till I came to college with you? I was working on it, Miss Popular. Oh, who's knocking? Come in. Oh, look who it is. Connor, you look awful. Jeez, what happened? Have you guys seen Lucas? I haven't seen him since last week. He turned off his phone and I have no idea where he is. Silver, do you know where Lucas is? Why is he asking her that? She doesn't even know where she is or who she is at the minute. She's having a horrible time. Jasmine, did I know him? He's the brother of the guy that hugged you. The guy that hugged me is named Lucas? Yeah, the name Lucas sounds familiar, but just thinking about it makes me feel dizzy. Oh no, she's collapsing again. She's okay, she just fainted. Oh wait a second, she's back in her like dream world. What's she gonna see this time though? This seems oddly familiar. Yeah, girl, because you've been here before. Hello? Wait a second. This is someone different. Wow, she's beautiful. But she looks familiar. I look familiar for a reason. I am Lucas's mother. Nice to finally be able to talk with you. Wait, what? That's Lucas's mum? You're Lucas's mother? Yes, but unfortunately, I'm not alive. If you don't mind me asking, how did you die? I was murdered by my second husband, which is Connor's father. So that Connor guy and Lucas are half siblings? Yes. But darling, I have a question for you. My son Lucas seems so in love with you. And you know you love him as well. I don't even know him. Oh my gosh, she's seeing her memories again. All of the times that they spent together. Even the time when they swapped clothes. She just woke up, she's like, what the heck did I just see? Whoa, are you okay there? Yeah, I just had a bad dream. Meanwhile, with Lucas, you haven't found him yet, huh? No, we haven't. It's like he's vanished into thin air. Well, I'm here to see his wife, Gia. Just gonna ask her some questions. I'll see if I can get anything out of her. Take a right, going straight down to the last room. Thanks, bro. How have you not gone insane inside of this room? Who says I haven't? Never mind. You've always been insane. How do you like it in here? Oh, it's amazing. I get to sleep on the cold, hard ground. How do you feel knowing that your husband broke out of jail without you. I guess he just left you. Wait, she is giving some serious crazy eyes right now. Why are you making that ugly face? He didn't leave me. This is all part of the plan. What did you do? Even if I don't tell you, it's too late. I'm sure they're already in jail. I think it's best if you leave now, because we just framed you all for murder. There's a fire exit on the other side. Better hurry before they get here. Wait, what? There's no way I can hide at my place. I need to hide somewhere else. Connor's place. He lives far from here, so I can stay there for a couple of days. But Connor is not gonna be impressed by him just moving into his house, surely. How the heck did you get in my house? Really? That's how you greet me? Where have you been? You might wanna check your phone. Lucas Anderson, age 23, and he is a criminal. Why in his mugshot does he have his six pack out? Check why they want to arrest me. Lucas Anderson on the run, wanted for the murder of a mother and two children? You killed an innocent family? Of course I didn't, you idiot. I was framed. By who? Gia's husband, Levi, broke out of jail. He killed them and he framed us. What do you mean, us? Pretty sure Silver and Jasmine's friends are in jail. Their mugshots are all over the news. You're also on the news. What? This all got very intense all of a sudden. So everybody's being framed for murder now. Wait, here's Connor's mugshot. Connor Jackson, age 24, he's a criminal. Dude, what if Jasmine sees this? Why are you yelling at me like it's my fault? Because you're the one who hasn't texted me for almost two weeks. When did Levi break out? Almost three weeks ago. And you're barely telling me this now? Hey, at least I'm telling you. How am I supposed to visit Jasmine and Silver when I'm wanted? Just don't visit them. Silver doesn't remember you, right? So as long as they don't see our mugshots, we're all good. Well, what about their friends? Don't you think it's gonna be suspicious if they just stop visiting? We can bail them out. But they were framed for murder. The bail is $3 million. One million for each. You know, 
We'll deal with this tomorrow. Let's just go get some sleep. The next day. Come in, Nora. How are you feeling, Silver? I don't feel like I'm gonna pass out anymore. Oh. And I'm sorry about your friends. They seemed rough around the edges, but I didn't expect them to do that. Uh, Nora, what are you talking about? Oh, I guess they haven't heard the news. I think you guys should check the news. Oh my gosh, a small family was murdered? What are you looking at, Jasmine? You look like you've seen a ghost. Jasmine, if you have broke my phone, you're gonna get it. I'll buy you a new phone. I don't care, I had good photos in there. Hey, Silver, let go. Not until I break your phone. Oh gosh, she's gonna see it. Isn't this a guy that you like? Why does it say that he's wanted for murder? And now she's just seen Lucas's mugshot. She's literally turned red. Gosh, when did he and our friends get so hot? Wait, is that all she could think about? She saw the six pack and was like, wow, I don't care if he's a murderer, he's hot. There's no way they committed a murder. They would have come to us for help because they're idiots. Jasmine, you haven't told me much about the night I got attacked. So tell me what happened. Okay, you aren't gonna believe this, but this is what really happened. And so Jasmine explained everything. All that happened in three months. Can I be alone for a while? Of course. I really did that for him? That doesn't sound like something I would do. I would only do that for Jasmine. Why would I do something like that? I kissed him? So dumb. How are we supposed to help them if she can't remember what happened? Hey Nora, what's wrong? I was wondering what you knew about Anthony's case. All I know is the news said that they murdered a family and their bail is $3 million. We would just need help from a family member or something. But didn't they kill people? I know my friends. I know they would never do something like this. I'll stand to call family and see if we can get a few hundred thousand dollars. If only it was that easy in real life to just get a hold of a few hundred thousand dollars. But it's not. What's wrong? These are Silver's hospital bills. I can imagine that these are gonna be quite expensive. But we have insurance. Shouldn't they cover the bills? We've checked and it says that you have no insurance. Nora, there's no way that we can pay these bills and afford to bail them out. Oh, okay, we'll pay the bills. All right, you're all set. Thank you for settling your bill. Miss Silver may now be discharged. Thank you for the help, ma'am. Have a good day. Wake up, Silver. Wake up, Silver. Okay, she's gonna have to manually wake her up by throwing her out of bed. I know you did not just drag me out of bed. I could have thrown you instead, so stop complaining. Mm. She almost did throw her, to be honest. So why did you wake me? I woke you up because you're now discharged. Why are you crying? I'm going to miss Nora. I forgot about that. We can get her number. You are so right. We have a new friend. We've only known you for a few weeks, but we're gonna miss you so much. Who's gonna yell at us when other people complain that we're too loud? Give us your number so we can have a girls' night someday. Guys, I'm sorry, but I'm always busy. I don't think we'd be able to hang out anytime soon. Fine, you guys can have my number. Oh, it's such an emotional goodbye. Thanks for taking care of us. We'll miss you, and I'll miss you guys too. But I should get back to work now. We'll make sure to call you every day. We will annoy you with all of our love. Really? You best shut up. I've missed this floor. So the only thing you've missed is the floor. Jealousy isn't a good look on you, sis. I should have left you at the hospital. Before we go to visit Anthony and stuff, there's something I want to tell you. What is it? You know how I told you that bail was three million? Yeah? But we can afford it with all of the money we saved because of our job. What's wrong? We can't afford to bail them out. What happened to all of the money? We spent it all on our hospital bills. All of the money is gone. Hey, it's not your fault. We'll figure it out. There's no way they would kill someone. So we have to get them out of there. Okay, excuse me. May I help you ladies? They're here to visit Anthony Nicholas and his two other friends. Yeah, why are you visiting? Well, they're family friends. We've known each other our whole lives. What are your names? This is Jasmine. And my name is Silver. Go ahead, it's the first door. Oh my gosh, they look insane. Literally look like Hannibal Lecter or something. You've got to be kidding me. Jasmine's here too, but they only allow one at a time. I'm taking those stupid things off of you guys. Glad you're better, Silver. Have you gotten your memory back? No, I haven't, but I'm sure it'll come back to me soon. Silver, I swear we didn't commit the murders. I know you guys didn't do it. You guys may seem like heartless bad boys, you guys really are just big overprotective softies. I know you did not just call us softies. Guys, I'm really sorry, but we can't bail you guys out right now. I promise we'll get you guys out though. Time's up. It's Jasmine's turn now. I'll wait here until you're done. Boom. Wait, what was that sound? What is happening? A giant hole in the wall? 
Send all of our policemen to find her. We have to find Gia Starling now. Oh no, Gia has broken out of prison. This is terrible. Oh, we're having a flashback moment. The memories are all flooding back. I remember? Guess now I know who framed them. Silver! Jeez, I was looking for you. I heard a loud boom and you were gone. What was the boom, by the way? Uh, some prisoner escaped, I think. Is it some dangerous prisoner? Well, I heard the name Gia. Does that name ring a bell to you? Nope. Do we know her or something? She's the girl I told you about. The one who attacked us. Let's get out of here. Let's go home and I'll cook something. Oh my gosh, her outfit is so cute. I love it. Your food is always the best. You're being over dramatic again. I think we should both go out tonight. Why all of a sudden? Well, if we go to an expensive house, we can find expensive things so that we can bail the boys. That's actually not a bad idea. But you know it's really risky with those houses. Well, I mean, either way, we have to do it. We just have to be careful. Okay. Let's go get ready. Oh my gosh, they're going to rob a house again. This is not good. Are you ready? Now I am. Let's go. Found a couple houses that seem good. The house over there is the last one. You know you're really reckless when doing this, but who's the one who's got the most stuff? Now I know how you always got caught. Oh wow, this house has a lot of goodies in it. Hang on, Jazz. I think there's some stuff on the ground. There's a drone, a Segway, a fan, and a laptop inside. This is a good house. Wait. Oh dear. Where have they ended? up. I can't break free. Jasmine. Jasmine. Silver, where are we? I have no clue. And I can't break these ties. This looks like a garage. I wonder if they've left anything that we could use to break free. Who is that? Is this whose house it is? Sorry if I'm bothering you, sir. But it seems that intruders have woken up. And I'm sure that they're going to escape. I'll be right there. Oh, how interesting. Whose house have they broken into? Have you found anything useful? Nope. Jasmine, someone's coming. Look down and try not to show your face. Who is that? He also looks like a villain, to be honest. Who are you? Fine, then I'll just take off your hood. Don't touch her. That voice, it sounds so familiar. Wait a second. There's no way. You're that brat that broke into my house. Look at me, you thief. Oh my goodness, it's the two brothers. And this is the house that they've been hiding out in. Gotta pretend I don't know them. Uh, are you the guy that hugged me? And you're the guy from the hospital earlier. Let Jasmine go right now. You better start explaining right now. Okay, first of all, I had no idea what Lucas is talking about. Silver never told me anything about meeting Lucas. And she lost her memory, so she can't even tell me about it. That doesn't explain why you guys are in Connor's house. Well, you see, we kind of found your guys' mugshots all over the news. Jasmine, I swear it isn't true. We were framed. Well, duh. I may not have known you guys for a long time, but I know you guys would never do that. We were here because the boys are in jail. And I think you guys know by now that their bail is three million. For some reason, our insurance was canceled. We had to pay for both of our hospital bills. And they were not cheap. So to earn the money, you guys decided to break into people's houses? Well, I mean, I guess that's part of it. Me and Silver have been doing this for years. It's our job, basically. Me and Silver don't always go with each other. Sometimes one of us stays at home while the other gets the money. So maybe you met Silver while I was at home. Sorry for trying to rob you, Connor. We just really want to get them out of there. It's okay. I know you guys just care about them. Oi, pineapple head. Did she just say that to me? How dare you? That is a great insult. I think I'm going to start using it. Pineapple head. Are you talking about my hair right now? You want to know what I think is funny? Silver lost her memory and can't remember you guys. And yet you guys still behave like just before. I wonder how her and Lucas are doing right now, actually. These are old clothes of mine. They should fit you, kind of. Why am I acting like I don't remember again? I'll tell them when I do something about that psycho Gia. What do you think is so hard about. Jeez, don't do that. You scared me. Well, anyway, I left some clothes in the bathroom. Thanks. I'll be with Connor if you need anything. Oh, it's Miss Nora. Leaving already? Yeah, I need to get home. All right. Well, I still have some papers to do, so make sure to stay safe. It's pretty late. I'll be careful. See you tomorrow. Hopefully she is safe. Guess Maddie was right. Guess I better take the shortcut today. Oh dear, look who she's bumped into. I missed you. It was so boring without you. Well, it's gonna be so worth it. Especially when we get back at Lucas. Can I be the one to end that silver girl? Whatever you want, hon. When should we do it? We could do it tomorrow if you really wanted to. Yay! Oh my gosh, that evil plan. I need to tell Jasmine and Silver. Jasmine! 
Nora texted me. Well, what does it say? She said she wanted to tell us something. So I sent her our location and she'll be here in 20 minutes. You do realize Connor and Lucas are in hiding right now from the freaking police. Well, too late now. Oh, somebody's here. Our hero has arrived. It's Nora. Guys, there's something I really need to tell you. I heard two people in an alleyway and they said they were gonna get back at Lucas and kill Silver. I'm sorry, what? And that's what happened. They know where we are? So they're coming tomorrow, huh? I have a plan. The next day. Hey Silver, are you sure you don't want to come too? Oh, heck no. I'm not trying to be third wheeling. You guys just go out and have fun on your date. It's not a date. Honor, let's leave. Okay, have fun on your date. All right, Silver. I'm going to the store and the store's kind of far from here. So I'll be gone for over an hour. Do you want me to come and help you? No, it's okay. I've got this. I'm gonna get going now. What is that noise? Jasmine? They knew that the bad guys were coming today. So I don't know why they've all gone out. Seems like a terrible idea. Is that you, Jasmine? I have a feeling it's not Jasmine. Are you guys trying to mess with me or something? They're not messing with her. Because look who it is. Gosh, I can't wait to see Lucas's face. Especially when he finds you later. Wait a second. This was all part of the plan. It was actually a tactic to make it look like they'd left, but they haven't. Oh dear. Baby? I love you, hon. Babe? Babe, this isn't funny. How could you? I'm pregnant. He didn't even know he was going to be a dad. Oh my gosh. She also fell to the ground. She's pregnant. That was a few months ago. They both died. Hi, Gia. Hi, Levi. It's me and Silver again. I just wanted to say that I know you guys would have been good parents. I know you didn't choose that lifestyle. The lifestyle chose you, and I hope you guys are happy. The boys were released from jail too. Jasmine and Connor have officially started dating. Ray and Michael confess their feelings for Heather. Oh yeah, and these two? Yep, you guessed it. They're dating too. And me, Silver, I like you so much. And I want to make sure that you never forget who I am. So, will you stay by my side and be my girlfriend? Aw, that's so cute. Obviously. And yeah, it's been five years since then. You're still not done being done with the video you're making. You couldn't have just shut up for a few more minutes, could you? Mom! What's up, princess? I told you I'm not a princess. I'm a knight. Heck yeah, you are. I came to tell you that you burned dinner. What? Why does it smell like fire? Oh, this is awkward. Run. Why were Jasmine and Clove running from you? Because I'm pretty sure they've started a fire. Babe, help us. We started a fire and we can't put it out. Silver did it. Oh my gosh, there's so many kids. Uncle, why is there a camera recording? Dad, did you put the camera here? No, I didn't. Babe, be careful. Remember that you're pregnant. How could I forget? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. So guys, that is where this story has finally ended. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like. And if you want to see another video from me, you can click on one of these. And I'll see you over there.